Our first hands-on video is going to be related to Chapter 1, and we are going to look at how to change a couple of Excel's default settings to make it a little bit easier to work in your spreadsheets. In Chapter 1, Section 4, it walks you through how to change the default number of sheets in an Excel spreadsheet, as well as to turn off the auto jump down feature on Excel if you're on a PC. Well, if you're on a Mac, the rules are a little bit different or the procedures are a little bit different. So we're going to walk through both of those things. The first thing we're going to do is reset the default number of sheets that come up when you open Excel. So right now you'll see that this Excel spreadsheet has three sheets, sheet one, sheet two, and sheet three. That's fine, but most of the time when you use Excel, you're only going to use one sheet. And if you want to have more sheets, you can add them, right? So we'll do the civilized thing and ask Excel to only open as much as we're going to need. So to do that, we, use, we click on the Excel button and then we glide down to preferences. Once we're in preferences, there's a lot of things we can do, but in order to set the default number of sheets, we're going to use this general section. If we click on general, we look down below and here it says sheets in new workbook and the default is usually three. Well, you can adjust that up or down and we want it to be one sheet. While you're here, there's something else to check. Take a look over here at your font. Font size in Excel tends to do a little bit better, be easier to read, um, you have less problems with things not fitting if you use a smaller font. So if yours pops up at anything higher than 12 or anything higher than 11, set it to 11. 11 is a really good size to keep it at. So that's the first thing we're going to do. We've just set our sheets in our new workbook to 1 and our font size to 11. When we click OK, we'll get a message often, I guess I didn't get it this time, that tells us that it will reset next time you restart Excel. The other thing we want to do is we want to turn off the auto jump down feature in Excel. So an example would just be, in this cell here, what I did is I, I calculated your monthly payment if you were to buy a Subaru with an MSRP of $17,495 at a 1.9% 1.9% interest rate for 42 months. So to enter that, what I do is I enter this formula. I say, okay, I've got to make my payment my interest rate is 1.9 percent per year I've got 42 months and I'm borrowing seventeen thousand four hundred and ninety five dollars and I hit return but what it did is it automatically jumped me down into this lower cell often when you're entering a lot of formulas which is what we do in finance we like it to stay in that cell so we can look at our formula and double check right we like to be able to see what we did to make sure that we did what we wanted to do so in order to keep it, the cursor, in the cell that we've been working in so we can continue to see this formula, we make another change. Again, we go to Excel into Preferences. And then instead of looking in General, we look under Edit. When we click on Edit, we look down here for it says After Pressing Return, Move Selection. You can choose if you want it to move in another direction, right? It's nice to know for, for future reference. But what we just are going to do is we're going to say we want to stay in the same cell so that I can see what I've done. Again, we click OK, and then we're done. And that's how to change those two defaults if you're working on a Mac.